YouTube if you're familiar with my other video it worth my count I've had two previous videos on how to get Photoshop CS4 extended version for free and uh, they were taken down due to copyright infringement and if I do it again I'll get my account deleted so I made a video after those two talking about it and I'm not and everyone's directly said go on the website and download it download it because I tried that and they still blocked the video so this time I just say go go to web, go to my website and check out my stuff I t and I said I have some cool downloads well there's some cool downloads I have Photoshop CS4 portable for free extended version the full thing and a lot of people I've downloaded it already a whole bunch of people have um, close to over a thousand maybe it's gotta be more it's that video's got 5,000 views plus almost now and I've had two four share accounts deleted already because I've had co copyright stuff on there so I put it on to make it upload and I don't have a download counter so I can't tell but it's gotta be a lot okay and when you download it, it you're gonna get a, a thing a file this Photoshop CS4 portable.7z you can use WinRAR to extract this, but I just use 7-zip to um, compress it into an archive file. But I recommend getting 7-zip. And 7-zip is free. All you do is go to Google, type in 7-zip, just Google it, real quick and easy. This is Photoshop. It's the real thing, I swear to God. And there's no viruses in safe. It's completely normal. I don't even give people viruses or anything. People said, oh, there's a Trojan virus. Because it has a key gen with it. All key gens are a virus, or a Trojan virus. Every EXE file is a Trojan virus. Why did I bring it to eBay? registered you know not you need the key gen that's with it I forgot the key gen that's with it if you have virus protection it'll say it was Trojan virus so delete it no big deal it doesn't matter but for some reason that it won't let you open it up because you need a, a key gen like a registration code you might have to delete it and read oh well, yeah to delete it just have to re-download it and turn your virus protection off for like five minutes so you can put the registration code in and click on folder once done bam nice and easy click on it bam push up portal see that key gen right there what my virus protection is about, about to delete it uh, I don't know why it hasn't yet if you don't and it doesn't work for you you click on this and it just look because I kind of pop up it says portable something I don't know it's a little icon it pops up and then Photoshop opens up and it has a um, user agreement. Every time you open it up, it's, it's gonna bring up the user agreement. Don't worry, just click accept. But if that don't work, 
by clicking on this icon right here. Go to App, Photoshop, and scroll down until you see Photoshop right there. And click on that. And that's all you have to do. That's it, really. Nothing else. I seem to like this now because I already have it downloaded. It's already my computer. I don't need it again. I just re extracted it for you guys. Oh, wait, here's 7 zip. Right here. Download. EXE, Windows 32 bit. Unless you have 64, doesn't matter. They work the same thing. I tried both. And that's the file manager. I never use the file, file manager anyway, so no matter. And just download. It's free. Easy to use. Go to my website and everything. Um, sites.google.com forward slash sites. I don't know. I can't remember right now. But that's it. And it's a real deal. I believe me, it is. But bridge does not work. I have no clue why. Maybe because it's uh, the portable version. But bridge does not work for this. It's no big deal. Bridge. I don't big deal with bridges anyway. It's not that great. And that's about it. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. Any more questions? Let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And uh, all right, that's it. Bye.